cardiothoracic surgeon from London, UK. I have been come here for a uh, conference as I invited faculty. I was talking about the chest wall surgery. Basically in uh, United uh, Kingdom, it has been prevalent and we do surgery all the time. But in India, it's very little known about it, little treated, and the patients are left on their own to find the treatment. And I felt very sorry about it, and I just wanted to talk about something called pigeon chest, where you've got a chest which is wonky and forward, mm -hmm. or you have a sunken chest, where you have a big defect in your chest, and you can't take out your shirt off because people will think you're a freak. And we have a treatment for both of them, and I just want to public awareness that if you have these problems, don't be shy, don't cover you up, come to us and we'll make it fix, and you will put Salman to shame. Yeah. Yeah. Can I just say, okay. cut? Okay. Uh, introduction there, Dr. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Dr. Malhotra, for inviting me today. My name is Sham Kalvakar, one of the cardiothoracic surgeons from London, UK. I do various heart and lungs and thoracic surgery. I came here as an invited faculty for an international meeting, talking about chest wall surgery uh, in all age group, from children to adult. And uh, after coming to India, I realized that the treatment for this uh, defect is very limited or none at all. There are patients keep communicating with me about their problems. And most of these patients are left on their own to find a treatment. The, the disease which I talk about, is, which is not a disease, it's just you're born with it, is whether you have a sunken chest, or it is called funnel chest, or there is something called uh, pigeon chest, where uh, chest wall is bent forward, and people are very scared of taking out their shirt so that their friends will tease them. And it has been, they, the patients have been suffering in silent with them. We have a treatment for it, uh, surgically and non-surgical, to make your chest look normal. It does also affect your chest, uh, your breathing, and your pain, and posture. That all can be corrected. And so don't be shy. Come back to us, and we will have treatment for you. Thank you. I wanted to ask you a few questions. That is, uh, what is the status of chest wall deformity in India as such? I think the chest wall deformity is not even diagnosed in a way because a person has to go to a doctor to say that I have a problem and often is get ignored. I occasionally get a, a letter, email or even a text from my colleagues saying that they have this patient, what to do. There are few sporadic treatment plan goes on but overall there is no treatment whatsoever. Okay. Uh, in children, some people are treating it but mm -hmm. if you are an adolescent, People who are teenagers, very little treatment available. Okay. And where do you think, where, where, in India, where can the treatment be got? I think at present the treatment is not available, as I said. Hmm. But we're going to start a uh, Pectus India uh, clinic okay. where we will see the patients in a clinic and they can be treated at either Apollo Hospital or Reliance Hospital in Mumbai. Uh, eventually, we have a plan to do it in different major cities like Delhi, or Chennai so that people can access the treatment there. That is true. I mean, the awareness of this condition has to be increased in India. And uh, you mentioned something about the braces, I think. Yeah. And uh, so where, where do you get the braces and how, do, how can a person go about it? Okay, pigeon chest is where previously we used to treat with surgery, where you had a big uh, incision and cutting, taking cartilage off or this thing. But the, you don't need a surgery now. If you're under sort of 20, mm -hmm. you can have these braces, which is like a braces to your teeth, but on the chest, you wear it up to a nine month to year, and your chest is, uh, the, the protrusion disappears, and chest becomes normal. These braces at present only available in UK and USA, uh, and they manufacture there. There are no braces in India for these patients. They keep asking me on mm. this thing. I have managed to start giving them braces. Okay. We do Skype consultations and then uh, we do measurements and get the braces. But eventually uh, the braces will be freely available 
for people with pigeon chest in India. So we are hoping that uh, some things should be available in India because that is a need of, of the Indian people, I mean, who really don't have any awareness. And as you said, that they live with the deformity. And uh, the, I mean, if they really come to know about it, that will be a great boon for their self-confidence, which we already, we always liked that the Indian people should be confident about everything. And uh, so what about the, um, uh, what is the future of the treatment for pectus, as you said? What, what more can would you like to say? I think the treatment, why there are two kinds of treatment. If you've got a funnel chest, there's a surgery we do through the keyhole and put a metal bar which pushes your sternum forward and okay. makes straight chest looks absolutely fine. It's a, you have to stay in a hospital for a couple of days, okay. but then it makes your straight look so good that they could be on the Bollywood, uh, okay. <laughs> giving okay. Bollywood dances. Okay. Okay. But the other treatment, which is called pigeon chest, or okay. a, where there is a pectus carinatum, where we use braces. Okay. Braces will help it to reduce it. You just have to wear it. It costs money, but once it's invested, you will have a normal chest or good-looking chest better than what you started. Okay. And would you like to show something? Uh, Yes, Anything I think this, this, is, this is what I was showing about pectus excavatum, which is where you see there is a depression there, and these are the one. They can cause problem. They can have a heart problem. You get a palpitations. They can have a breathing problem, posture and pain. We can correct them. There are previously surgery was like that, but now we do keyhole. See the scars are barely seenable, uh, seeing there, and you see the chest is totally corrected. And this surgery is a bit more complex, where we do the keyhole. I can show you some pictures of it, uh, which is, uh, 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 this is how the keyhole is done. There is a bar going underneath your chest, and then it keeps it apart. This is like an x-ray showing you how the bar looks. It's not a sword by pushed in your chest by some bhai, but this is actually okay. treatment. And then this is how it goes. And then this is how the treatment. But there is other thing which I wanted to show you about this is the braces. Uh, the, uh, the chest deformities are like that. See how protrusion here? The red mark is a protrusion. And then you put braces on, these are the braces. Okay. And then it corrects it totally well. See how protrusion, gone back. Yeah. Uh, protrusion, going back. So these are actually there. And these are all 99% compliances. If you wear a braces, your protrusion will disappear. If you don't wear braces, you, that will stay there wherever. But there is a treatment, it's not very costly, it's reasonably priced, and it is available for everyone. I want every person who has this problem should easily access treatment in India itself, starting with Mumbai, but we can do in different places. I have experience for the last 10 years, and I've been treating people across the globe, and I just want to offer to India, which is my motherland. Thank you, Dr. Kolvekar, and it was a, a really the detailed uh, description of everything. And I hope a lot of people who see this come forward to you, and people get treated. And as you said, they are ready to get into the Bollywood. Thank Definitely. you so much, Dr. Yeah. Dr. Malhotra. Thank you very much. Thank you.